Welcome back to our channel, a space where we gather to celebrate the lives and achievements of big stars. Today, in our first week of August 2023 edition, we are honoring the talented individuals who have recently departed this world. But before we delve into these heartfelt tributes, we kindly ask you to show your support by clicking the like button. Let's stand united in celebrating the enduring legacies of these extraordinary individuals who, though no longer with us, will never be forgotten. Without further ado, let us embark on this journey of remembrance and appreciation. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Mark Margolis, a renowned actor best known for portraying Hector Salamanca on Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, passed away on August 4th at age 83 following a short illness. His career was marked by notable roles in films such as Scarface and Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, as well as appearances in six Darren Aronofsky movies including Requiem for a Dream and Black Swan. Margolis's compelling performances, especially his Emmy-nominated portrayal of Salamanca, a character who communicated only through facial expressions and a bell, left a lasting impact on the world of television, contributing to a legacy of complex, memorable characters. John Gosling, the talented keyboard player who was part of the Kinks from 1970 to 1978, died at the age of 75 on August 4th. Born on February 6, 1948, in Paynton, Devon, England, he contributed keyboards to some of the band's most notable works, including the number two UK hit Lola and the top 40 US hit A Rock and Roll Fantasy. Described by his bandmates as a great musician with a fantastic sense of humour, Gosling's musicianship played an essential role in the evolution of the Kinks sound, and his influence on the band and contributions to 10 Kinks albums will remain a significant part of rock music's legacy. Bob Murdoch, a renowned Canadian professional ice hockey defenseman and coach, passed away on August 3, 2023. He had an illustrious career in the National Hockey League, playing for several teams including the Montreal Canadiens and Calgary Flames, and also coaching for the Chicago Blackhawks and Winnipeg Jets. Notably, he won the Stanley Cup in 1971 and 1973 with Montreal and earned the Jack Adams Award as the NHL's Coach of the Year during the 1989-90 season with the Winnipeg Jets. Murdoch's remarkable dedication to the sport, both as a player and a coach, left an indelible impact on professional ice hockey, cementing his legacy in the sport's history. His accomplishments and influence continue to inspire many in the world of ice hockey. Charles Ogletree was an esteemed American attorney, law professor, and the Jesse Klimenko professor at Harvard Law School, passing away on August 4th at age 70 due to Alzheimer's disease. During his prolific career, he founded the Charles Hamilton Houston Institute for Race and Justice and authored influential legal works, notably representing figures like Tupac Shakur and Anita Hill. In addition to his teaching, where he instructed both Barack and Michelle Obama, Ogletree's legacy extends to his profound impact on race and justice in the United States, with his contributions recognized through awards and honors, including a chair established in his name at Harvard Law School. His voice and work continue to resonate in the fields of law, education, and civil rights. Wendell B., renowned as the boss in the R&B music world, was a celebrated singer-songwriter who passed away on August 3rd at the age of 65 due to a prolonged battle with cancer. Throughout his career, he made significant contributions to the R&B genre, producing hits like Good Times and Back to Bidness, earning global acclaim with his emotive performances and soulful melodies. His lasting legacy in the music industry will continue to inspire future generations, and his songs will forever resonate with fans, keeping his artistry alive in the hearts of those who were touched by his musical prowess. Peter Dixon, an England international rugby union player, passed away on August 3rd in Cumbria at the age of 79. During his illustrious career, Dixon played for Oxford University RFC in four consecutive varsity matches from 1967 to 1970 and achieved fame with the Northwest Counties team that became the first regional team to defeat a New Zealand All Blacks touring team in 1972. He also played a crucial role in the British and Irish Lions' victorious tour of New Zealand in 1971. Beyond his playing career, Dixon's work in overseas development at institutions like Durham University continued to demonstrate his commitment and impact on the world of rugby and education. 
His legacy in the sport, marked by athleticism, leadership and innovation, will continue to inspire future generations. Vincent Speranza, an American private who served valiantly in the United States Army during World War II, passed away on August 2nd at the age of 98. He is renowned for his 144 days of combat in significant engagements like the Siege of Bastogne and his post-war contributions as an educator at Curtis High School. His memoir, Nuts, a 101st Airborne Division machine gunner at Bastogne, encapsulates his exceptional experiences, contributing significantly to military history. Speranza's legacy lives on, immortalized in the Airborne Beer and a limited edition watch named after him. Symbols of his bravery and his unique story of camaraderie during the hardships of war. Sherry Combs Johnson, an esteemed American Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame barrel racer, passed away on August 2nd, at the age of 84, due to complications from COPD. Johnson's celebrated career included a World Barrel Racing Championship win at the National Finals Rodeo in 1962, five-time RJ Barrel Racing Champion, two-time RJ All-Around Champion, and an astonishing 12-time NFR qualifier. She made substantial contributions to her field, not only as a competitor, but also as an innovator in creating rulebooks and serving as an officer in several organizations, leaving a lasting impact on the sport of rodeo. Carl Davis, a renowned American-born British conductor and composer, passed away on August 3rd at the age of 86 due to a brain hemorrhage. A prominent figure in the music industry, Davis composed music for over 100 television programs, notably the BBC's Pride and Prejudice, and scores for vintage silent movies. Perhaps his most notable work was the Liverpool Oratorio, composed in collaboration with Paul McCartney in 1991. Davis's legacy will forever be imprinted on the world of television, cinema and concert performance, with his original scores inspiring and delighting audiences globally. Robbie Shepherd, a beloved Scottish broadcaster and author, passed away on August 1st at the age of 87. Known for presenting shows on BBC Radio Scotland, including Take the Floor, the longest-running radio programme in Scotland, Shepherd was a prominent advocate for Scottish culture. He also wrote a column in Doric for Aberdeen's Press and Journal newspaper and authored books on Scottish dance music and the Doric dialect. Honoured with an MBE in 2001 for his services to Scottish dance music and Scottish culture, Shepherd's voice, wisdom and commitment to preserving and promoting Scottish heritage will leave a lasting impact on the nation's cultural landscape. Jess Search was a producer and a central figure in the documentary genre, and she passed away on July 31st, at age 54 due to brain cancer. As one of the directors of Doc Society, a non-profit organisation she co-founded in 2005, Search supported countless filmmakers, emphasising underrepresented groups and unconventional stories. Her work, including being a producer or executive producer on films such as Alexis Arquette, She's My Brother, and Queendom, along with her passionate advocacy through Doc Society, invigorated the entire documentary field. Her lasting impact is seen in her championing of independent film and her role as a catalyst for hundreds of documentary projects, demonstrating her belief that documentaries could change the world. Mark Gilpin, known for his role in the horror film Jaws 2, passed away on July 29th at age 56 due to an aggressive and inoperable glioblastoma. Starting his acting journey at the age of four, Gilpin became famous for portraying Sean Brody in Jaws 2 and participated in over a dozen acting projects before retiring in 1989 to pursue a career as a software engineer. His portrayal in Jaws 2 remains his most notable role, marking him as a significant part of one of the influential horror films, and his death was mourned by horror movie enthusiasts. David Lebo Le Batard, a prominent Miami artist, passed away at the age of 50 due to an undisclosed illness, as announced by his brother Dan Le Batard on August 1st. Known for his innovation of postmodern cartoon expressionism, Lebo's colorful murals, paintings, and sculptures became a symbol of his unique blend of bold colors, cartoonish style, and geometric shapes. His legacy in the art world extends from his showroom in Wynwood and studio in Miami Beach to a commissioned piece on the hull of a Norwegian cruise line ship, leaving a lasting impact on the contemporary art scene in South Florida and beyond. Jana Samsonova, known as Jana Dart, was a vegan raw food diet influencer and passed away on July 31st at age 39 due to suspected starvation. 
a Russian national, she advocated a raw vegan diet, subsisting mainly on exotic fruits such as durian and jackfruit for several years, and amassed millions of followers on social media platforms like TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Her efforts inspired many to explore raw food diets, but her tragic death highlights the potential risks of extreme and restrictive eating habits, sparking debates on nutrition and health in the vegan community. Raheem 350 Heem Bacon, a hip-hop artist and the brother of former NBA player Dwayne Bacon, passed away on July 28 at age 25 due to a fatal shooting incident in Lakeland, Florida. The promising artist, known for his lyrical prowess, had recently released a mixtape and made history by becoming the first artist from Lakeland to sign with the renowned Motown Records in 2021. His untimely death, occurring amidst a celebration of his artistic accomplishments, leaves a profound void in the hip-hop community and serves as a stark reminder of the ongoing issue of gun violence in society. Maria Fux, an esteemed Argentine dancer, choreographer and dance therapist, passed away on July 31st at age 101. Over her prolific career, she developed a unique dance therapy system and established schools in Argentina and Europe, extending her training to various professionals working with individuals with disabilities. Her innovative approach not only earned her prestigious awards such as the UNESCO Diploma and recognition from the UN, but also left a lasting impact on the field of therapy. Fuchs's work continues to resonate, fostering healing and connection through dance, and her legacy will undoubtedly inspire future generations in therapeutic and artistic communities. Adrian Street was a Welsh professional wrestler and author, and he passed away on the 24th of July at age 82 due to sepsis that developed from a bout of colitis. Known for his flamboyant, androgynous wrestling persona, Street's exotic Adrian Street image became an iconic part of professional wrestling in the 1970s and 1980s. He wrestled in thousands of matches worldwide, appeared in films like Quest for Fire, and even released music with his band, The Pile Drivers. His daring and unique style challenged conventional norms within the sport, leaving a lasting impact on the wrestling industry, and his life was celebrated in documentaries and other media, ensuring his influence will continue to be felt by future generations. George Wilson was an American professional basketball player and passed away on July 29th at age 81. He played as a center for various teams in the National Basketball Association from 1964 to 1971, and his major accomplishments include winning a gold medal in the 1964 Summer Olympics and contributing to the Cincinnati Bearcats NCAA championship victory in 1962. Beyond his professional career, Wilson's legacy lives on through his induction into the Ohio Basketball Hall of Fame, his recognition as one of the 100 legends of the IHSA Boys Basketball Tournament, and his commitment to sports and community through his work as a YMCA director and participation in the Senior Olympics. Inga Swenson was an American actress and singer and passed away on July 23rd at age 90. Throughout her distinguished career, she appeared in numerous Broadway productions, earning two Tony Award nominations for Best Actress in a Musical for her roles in 110 in the Shade and Baker Street. Swenson was also celebrated for her seven-year portrayal of Gretchen Krauss in the ABC comedy series Benson, a role that earned her three Emmy nominations. Her legacy continues to resonate in the theatre and television industry, highlighting her exceptional talent and dedication to the craft. Robert E. Matonis, better known as Beetle Bob, was an American dancer and a prominent figure in the St. Louis, Missouri music scene, passing away on July 27th, at age 70 due to complications from ALS. Recognized for his arrhythmic dance moves and attending at least one live show every night since Christmas Eve 1996, seeing over 10,000 bands, he was a recognizable figure at concerts and music festivals across the United States. His legacy in the music industry is marked by his passion for live music and unique dancing style, making him a tastemaker in the local scene, although he also faced criticism for his behavior at shows. His influence is summarized in the local saying, if Beetle Bob is there, you're at the right show. Eleanor Vidala was a trailblazing American chemist, materials engineer, and FAA certified balloon pilot who passed away on July 19th at age 99. With an impactful career stretching from directing research and development at the Naval Air Development Center to participating in 66 balloon flights, Vidala helped to shape both the fields of materials engineering and aviation. 
Her research contributions led to the development of light synthetic materials used in aircraft, and as one of the first female pilots to participate internationally, she furthered the presence of women in aviation. Vidala's induction into the Balloon Federation of America Hall of Fame in 2019 is testament to her lasting legacy in aviation, while her work in materials engineering continues to influence the production of aircraft today. You can continue watching these videos about recent celebrity deaths in July on your screen. To keep yourself updated, you can turn on notifications.